Hello guys, and welcome back to another Emperor tutorial for a guide for building. So today what we're going to be covering is basically how to build a tower. Now this is going to be a few part series, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But we're going to build something a couple chunks high. Now by chunks I mean if we go and press the F3G screen, then we can see where the... Um, the border are uh, these blue lines basically indicate one chunk section so i was thinking about maybe making it three or four high and we have we can go about um 32 by 32 so we can do some pretty big tower stuff in that area might be a little bit smaller than the um than the uh parts that we need but um i think about four Four uh, chunks high should be good. That will bring it up to about here. Now if we disable that, that's pretty good height. So we'll be working on that. Uh, it might take a few episodes to work on, but uh, we can start planning out where we're going to be um, building. Now I didn't actually mark out spawn. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that's fine. I, it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just make sure I know where the borders of the um chunk is so i can kind of get a rough idea where i need to work with so i'm just going to place some of the uh planks and stuff just on the corners of the uh chunk so i can kind of get an idea where it is so that's um that corner that corner and then we need them in this corner as well and that'll just give us an idea where we're going to be basically building our chunks from. Now we could make it bigger if we wanted to using Chunk Manager. We're still going to need to use Chunk Manager to make sure that all these chunks are loaded when the structure gets loaded in. But um, it'll be um, a lot easier to just do a 4x4 four four as the whole log cabin thing was a lot harder to do at larger sizes. So we need now to find the center of this build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just set that up like that as that's where all of them connect to. And then we can and uh, we can kind of figure out where we're going to basically build from. So I'm not going to build the full width of all the chunks. I'm going to leave some space for decoration as well. So we can probably do maybe let's see maybe about here for the base or maybe a couple out. So leave about six blocks out. So I'm gonna mark this as well. So right here and that leaves six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do the same over on this side and do the same over on this side and the other side. <coughs> So that will be our base for our tower. Um, we will kind of expand out. I'm kind of having an idea that we can kind of expand outwards each level. So it will make it a little bit more interesting. So now we need to kind of choose our material that we're going to use. I'm going to go with kind of like a medieval tower. Because I'm more familiar with that kind of build. But um, we can use some cobblestone, some stone bricks. Uh, we can use some spruce logs. And then we might be able to use, we might need some of the uh, spruce log wood just so it doesn't look a little bit too terrible uh, on the ends. And probably, uh, depending, there's not going to be much of a roof, so we don't really need to worry about that. But uh, we will need some spruce uh, planks as well. Okay, so the base floor, uh, we're going to have probably, I don't know how many floors there will be in one chunk. So probably if we go about four and four, I think that's four. Though. I think that's about eight, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. So that leaves six and six for roof. So that leaves that much space. And then we got a double floor here, five, six, and then that. So yeah, we'll we'll have about that much per floor, which is a decent size. 
Um, we're going to want a stairwell. Probably in the center. So it's a little bit easier to get up and down. Now, um, we could do a couple different stairwells. Uh, we have all that space on the edge to work with, right, for the first floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this as a open area. And I'm going to just place down some stone bricks. Actually, we should do cobblestone, I think. This cobblestone would look better. So we're going to place down some cobblestone floors. And then what we can do... Just make sure this is center. I don't think it is. Whoops. Um, is we can start working on um, <clears throat> getting the uh, staircase in. So is it seems a little off center. Okay, that that's the problem right there. Okay, that should be. Yep, that's perfect. All right. Um, I'm just going to quickly fill in the floor up to this point and to that point. I'm going to make it a little bit circular. So probably do something like this. Not sure if this will do it perfectly. Yeah, that will work. So we'll do something like that. And I'll fill all this in off camera. So it'll be a little bit easier to save some time and stuff okay something's not yep that's the issue right there okay so that will be our base of our tower and we'll have a spiral staircase going up so i'll come back in once i have this uh first section done okay now before we go any further uh, i was looking at the sides here and there could be a few different improvements as well um, now, we could use stairs on things that are vertical, um, things that are basically like this and um, underneath, so we could do things like that, but when we start working with the sides like that, you can't really put them on the other axis, so if we wanted to put a stair right here, it's not going to be the proper dimensions to make it circular on that axis. Now, what I was thinking about doing was having a couple blocks, uh, additional ones that we can basically make with block bench. And we could, same same idea with slabs as well. Like they can't be placed um, horizontally. Uh, you can only place them like that or that. If I try rotating it um, around, it's just not going to work that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a vertical, or pardon me, a horizontal, slab so we can basically put one here one here uh, stairs that can go vertical or horizontal like that and um, another stair there and then a couple slabs so i'm going to create up a model quickly uh, with that and it's just turning night so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this and then what we'll do is we'll go into block bench so let's create that quickly so what we want to do is we're going to select Java block slash item, and that's what we're going to be working with. And then I'm going to call it um, stairs two, or actually let's call it cobble. Um, yeah. Um, let me just uh, quickly look up. Um, I think it's just cobblestone stairs right so we can do uh, h for horizontal cobblestone stairs for our file name and then what we can do is we can confirm that and then what we're going to need to do is create a, a cube so we're just going to press that and now what we want is it to be sideways right so stairs generally look like um one cube like this it goes eight blocks up which is half a block and then it goes um, from there uh, eight backwards so like that and then eight up again so that's basically what your general stair looks like on the north axis so when you place it down it looks like that however we don't want that what we want is it like flipped on its side so what we can do is we can take that mesh that we just created we can go to transformations and then we can go rotate 
and according to the axis what we can do is we can just flip it on the blue axis and we'll flip it that way and then we got it basically set up now we just need to slide it over into our center of our cube and there we go we got it all set up now what we need to do now is actually import a texture so what i'm going to do is quickly is grab the M the minecraft texture for cobblestone and uh, you'll have to obtain this yourself i can't actually distribute it uh, legally so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into where is it desktop and then i have the minecraft resources 1.16.5 minecraft and textures block and then i'm going to search up uh, cobblestone and then I'm just going to grab that uh, texture and I'm going to name it uh, our block so H cobblestone um, stairs and then I'm going to basically save that as our on my desktop so I can easily access it and then we should be good for that so I'm going to go back over to Actually, we don't really need that. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the um, stone bricks. Because that's what we'll be building with. Stone bricks. And we might as well grab... Um, the... Um, what do you call it? Ones as well. Chiseled. I just want the regular ones. Stone bricks there edit and I'm going to basically save that as each stone bricks desktop and I'm going to save that here and then I also want the um, spruce planks so spruce and we should have spruce planks here and I'm going to just save that again as each for horizontal and then we can save that to our desktop and we should be good to go. All right, so the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm gonna click, uh, if you don't have the auto UV map uh, thing, what you can do is you can go into your toolbar, customize, and then there should be, um, I believe it's UV and then it should be under this part, part right here somewhere. And it's auto UV and there's there's relative UV as well. There is also maximize UV map as well as that. So what I usually have is the auto UV and the relative UV and that helps with um, some things. Now if I wanted to get it all set up, uh, what I can do is basically just select all of the cubes and then under the upside what I can do is basically auto relative UV and I'll do that for all of the different sides here. So um, for the northwest, south, and east as well, and north. And it should be all set up now. All right, so once I've done that, I'm going to basically import our texture. So this can be any texture. It's just um, a placeholder for now. So I'm going to choose the uh, spruce planks one just so we can see where all the lines are and stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically texture it and I'm going to set it as that. Now it might not look perfect because of the, the way that we've basically set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all the textures are properly aligned. Now this could be um, improved a little bit. What's happening here is the angle's a little bit off, I think. Looks a little bit off. Um, we'll have to fix up the UV map. It should be 16 by 16, but it could be a little bit off. So we need to rotate this like that. And then for this one, we want that the same. And we're going to, okay, is that? Should be like that, I think. And then we're gonna bring that up to here because that should be the top and actually it should be over on this side shouldn't it okay so we're just going to adjust the uv a little bit and i'm going to bring that down here actually yeah we'll bring that down just trying to see where it's supposed to be set up right so that should be down here 
and then that should be over here. And then we want to do the same for this side down here. So I want to set that up to be over here and the bottom should be rotated on that axis, I think. We'll just auto UV it. Till we get it. Um, that's really weird. It shouldn't be squished like that. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, okay, so if we bring it all the way down like that, that's what it looks like. So I guess the UV thing should be like this. So we'll just select it like that. And then we have that corner. That's down here. This should be again like that for the other side. I think. Or now we've just messed up that one. Okay, so this should be the up texture and that should be set to... Yeah, I'd, I'd re I really, like, if I had to rate the, the changes on the UV changes for this, I don't really uh, like how it's changed. It's It was a lot better before. Um, it was just a lot more functional in general. Like, now you don't have the option to basically go into the full window and change a whole bunch of stuff. And it's just really a big hassle to actually set up the UV maps and stuff now. I'm not too happy with the uh, changes. I wish I could have had a word, um, like some feedback, provide some feedback with the changes and stuff like that. But all right, so that should be set up good. Um, we have the top and bottom for the textures there. Uh, we still need to set up this part. So this is that face here. So I'm gonna bring it down to here and I'm gonna bring it down to here and I'll make sure it's on the top is the top should be where it needs to be. Um, I think, maybe, no, nope, maybe it's on the bottom. All right, and then what we're gonna do is with this one, oh, hold on a second. That one, I want that face. I'm trying to figure out what face that is. Okay, it says it's that one, but when we move that, it's a little bit different. Okay, it's not that. Where is it? I have no idea. See, this is what I'm talking about. It makes no sense. Like, I'm trying to select the, um, the north one, and I'm doing all these different sides and stuff like that. So, there we go. We finally got to the one that we needed. All right, so what I need to do is basically figure out where about this is supposed to be set up. Now, I think, because this is on the bottom, that should actually be on reversed. So we're going to want that to be down here. And that one we're going to want to be like that. And then this one needs to be the other direction that and the other one needs to be down as well so the line is what we're following right down here and then with this one uh, we can just basically align it with the bottom here and then it will properly align so again this needs to be um, flipped like that so we can basically get that part done and then the side over here should be aligned with the other side like that and this back piece should be like that. And then this top piece here should be, um, I believe it's like this as well. So like that. Uh, just make sure that's aligned properly. This is facing that way and that should be good. All right, so the other thing that we need to do is disable this texture right in here. So I'm gonna just click on it and I'm gonna hit the remove face. Now, if, again, if you don't have that, then you have to select it in the uh, toolbar, toolbar and you can just delete it. We don't actually need it because we're not utilizing it. So that's all we need to do to make the stairs. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to basically save this as a file so I can use this in other mods as well. 
and I can also provide this in a workspace. So I'm going to save project as, and I'm just going to basically leave this on my desktop so I can put it into the final um, workspace for you guys. And then what we need is a slab as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just rotate this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is rotate it. Um, and actually set the access point for this to be 888. So I can actually rotate it on the same axis and then I'm going to rotate it on the green axis, so like that. So it's like facing this way. So when we place it, it's uh, put in the right direction. So with that, we just wanna make sure that it's on the grid still. And then we're gonna save this as, save project as, and then we're going to say slabs. And we can use this uh, model for anything pretty much. All right, so I'm gonna just export this as the, actually, should this be, that actually should be a different angle, I think. I'm just trying to see, yeah, because stairs shouldn't actually be that direction, should it? Um, oh, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff now, okay. like. If we were to rotate it, rotate it like that, the texture should actually be the other direction. So I'm just gonna fix that up right now. It should be that way, that way, that way, and this should be that way as well. Because we want it to kind of match our build, right? So, and that should be fine on the top there. That should be fine on the bottom. This needs to be updated like that and we're just going to make sure that it just kind of aligns properly okay so that should be actually flipped i think so like down and down here like that and this should be the facing the other direction as well All right, so that should be set up now, and then we're just gonna save the uh, save this as the stairs again. So save as, and then we'll set this as the stairs. That slabs. This is stairs, and then we'll fix this up. So again, we'll have our rotation set to eight. Uh, oh no, this is the size. We need that sixteen. And we'll set our pivot point to 8, 8, and 8. And then we'll transform it, flip it, or pardon me, rotate it, and then it can be facing this direction, which should be the right direction for it. And then what we'll do is we'll just save this as our slabs. And now we just need to export it. Actually, there is a couple things that we still need to do when we're working on this. Uh, if we go to our display, and our, we need to set up our display, there is a preset that we can use. So if we go into apply preset, and then we're gonna use the default uh, block and then apply to all slots, and then it's gonna make it like the default um, blocks in Minecraft. So that that's all set up. Uh, it's again set up for all the different uh, viewpoints in the game. You might need to adjust a little bit on some of them. Um, not always does it properly do things, but for the most part, it sets it up for the same settings. So I'm gonna just move that. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that one. Head's fine. We're not gonna see much of that. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we're, now we can do is basically save, and then we're going to export this as the Java block. Now you have to be in the Java block um, workspace. Now if you're not, then you have to convert your project into the Java block uh, particular workspace so we, you should have this option to export it as a uh, Java block model it should save it as a dot JSON file so we're just going to save that here and I'm just going to double check to make sure it's the right file yes yeah, dot dot JSON it should be fine and then we want to do the same with our other one so I'm just going to save this again save project and then we'll import the other one so import um, 
actually let's open and then we'll open the stairs and then we'll do the display settings again. It'll be a little bit off by normally. So what we need to do is go to our apply presets, block, apply to all slots, and then it should be set up. Um, again, you might need to adjust this just a little bit. And we should be good to go with that. Yeah, that will work. All right, and then what we're going to do, we're gonna save this project, and then we're going to, again, export, and then we'll save this as, okay, that uh, slabs, this should be stairs. So we're not gonna save it as slabs, we're gonna save it as stairs. And save. All right, so now that we got our two models, uh, we can just close out of this. I'm gonna save that. And then what we can do is we can use our two models that we got here. And um, I'm just gonna name them a little bit different. So I'm gonna just copy them, paste them again. And then we can update the model name. So it's um, different for each texture that we have. So stone bricks. And then we wanna clean up the copy so it's just one solid name. And we wanna change the cobblestone to stone bricks again. And remove the copy. And then we want the spruce planks as well. and for the other one as well. So once we have this all set up, what we can do is we can bring it into mCreator. And then we can use the textures that we have here from the base game. Now I can't provide those in the um, actual exported version. So you're gonna have to basically open up the jar with um, WinRAR 7-zip and obtain the resources from the assets folder. Um, I've done a tutorial on that before, so I'm not gonna cover that again, but it's pretty straightforward. Same thing that you would basically do to make a resource pack. So after that, what we can do is we can re import our um, resources, go to our import textures, and then what I'm gonna do is just import those three textures that I got from the base game. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the JSON files that we created. So this one's for cobblestone slabs. And I'm going to set the cobblestone texture. And then we should have cobblestone stairs. And we want the cobblestone texture again. And then we should have the spruce planks and the other spruce um, one for the stairs. And then we got the stone bricks. And the other one should be stone bricks as well. And if all goes well, then our textures should be set up the way that we need to, or our UV map. So I'm just gonna quickly create a block for all these. So what I need to do is go um, H stone bricks um, stairs. And then we'll start with that. Uh, we're going to actually just select our X, uh, our southwest northeast direction. And I'm gonna select the, I believe we're working with uh, stone bricks, right? So stone, bri stone brick stairs, and we're going to have this on cutout. Uh, we want it to be water loggable as well. So I'm gonna check these two boxes and we need to apply our texture here for stone bricks and the particle texture as well. And it's going to be basic properties. Um, now I'm going to leave it as cube for now. I will set up the uh, proper model for the actual stuff in a future video, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, 
for this, I'm just going to change the display name so it's stone bricks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that's stone. And we want it, um, yeah, we'll have it under the building, bro building blocks. I'm not going to worry about the blast resistance and stuff like that right now. Uh, we want the sound properties to the uh, stone properties. This should drop itself. That's all fine. Uh, advanced properties don't really need to worry about too much outside of the um, block that it should be displaying for the color. We're going to set that to stone. And the rest should be fine here. We don't need MBT, no triggers, and that should be all good to go. So we're going to do that um, for all our textures, but I just want to make sure that it's all right, so we're in game now, and I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the list, and we should have slabs, so it's not exactly what we wanted, but we can see that it's um, the direction that we want it to basically be set up. So that's good, at least. Um, we will set up the stairs, though. I might have gotten the wrong one uh, set up, so I'm just going to double check the model that we basically selected here, and this says stairs. But it's not stairs, is it? So I might have gotten the names all mixed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that one. I'm going to stop the game. And then we're going to try the other one by just saving that as the other one. And we'll see if this is the issue that I got the files all mixed up. If so, then I'll have to fix that. But um, yeah, I'll just check this out quickly. All right, so something's not taken properly. I might have um, exported the wrong file, possibly from the wrong workspace. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the files set up for the next episode. And then we should have our stone bricks and stuff that we can actually build with. But uh, the good news is um, it is properly set up for the direction uh, for the most part. I mean, the top part will be rotated a little bit when we actually place it. Um, this is because normally it will be um, facing like that, and if we were to place it on the north facing direction, is properly set up. But um, when we rotate the block, it's it's going to update the UV map as well. So um, there might be a setting in Blockbench to fix that. I can't remember if there's a setting or not, but um, I'm not sure at the moment. So for the most part, this is all that we need. Um, for the basic stuff. Uh, we can work on the getting the stairs and stuff in next episode. Actually, I'll do that off camera and then it'll be all ready for the next thing. But outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.